He basically says, like, listen. He basically says, like, listen to what this dude said. Listen to when boy starts crying. That's when we sell the class. And he said, basically, I'm not saying it's necessarily manufactured. Some of it probably is, but phone started ringing. This is nothing more than manipulating black people to sell some BS product. Like, understand, like, let me take this all the way back. You can, you can basically consider this a crisis manufacture. And you, when you, when you think about this, I want you to go back to Boyce's products and go through the pictures of him with black people or his grandmama, whatever. He's trying to connect with black people in a certain way to extract money for him and Mr. Wu. Now, I'm going to take it all the way back. I'm going to take it all the way back. He said this is a practice planned effort to get a critical close point. So he got Boyce in there doing a practical effort to get a critical close point. And shout out to John Rock who donated $100. I appreciate you, brother. Shout out to you. But let me just say this. This is a practice. This is a practice thing to get a critical close point. So this crying, this is a practice thing to get you to a place where you feel a connection with boys and you start handing over your money. How does that make you better than me? You think you better than me? I just ask for donations. I say whatever you can give for this content, for what I give you, it's the same thing if you go watch CNN. When you watch the commercials, that's what you're doing. And that's what I say. I don't tell you what to give, a dollar, five dollars. $20, $100, whatever you got right now is what you do. You over here with Mr. Wu doing all kind of stuff, but you want to tell me that you better than me? You better get out of my face. And let me tell you, I'm going to take it out of the way. I'm not through. I'm not finished. I don't talk much about my internal life, but I'm a religious person. He, This person knows that black people are religious. And he says that, he says that, he, he, he uses that religion of black people. He says that he's he said that's basically that's what Mr. Wu says that's what he's basically selling. He knows who we are and he's using boys to take advantage of it. And let me just I, I wrote down some stuff while he was I already wrote down some stuff before this happened, but I wrote down some additional stuff. Hyping hope. He said we're selling a movement. So he under he, he even understands that black people need movement, that we need a movement. And that we have Black Lives Matter. So you're going to try me to try to give me a movement through this little BS product. And he's very clear on that. He's very clear on that. And he says, boys, now, un slow your roll. He says the African-American niche. He doesn't say the African-American community or boys is really wants to just do so, the niche. He's and, and then he giggles. Like, please, if you... Please think about, when you get a chance, go back and watch this video. He giggles when he says that boy starts to cry. He don't care. And boys may be simple enough not to understand or care like, you know, I'm just making money or he's brown just like me or neither of us are white. He giggled and he said, he said, Boyce is the pitch guy. Now, I want you to, I want you to take that and I want you to rewind it all the way back. Now, who talked to you about P. Diddy being the pitch guy for Ciroc and he didn't own Ciroc? I think that was me. Understand that these people are just pitching products and there be a bunch of white capital in the background. This is a product pitch. And in the background of this product pitch, you not only have this Asian guy, you have, I don't know what Mr. I don't know what Mr. Maven, I don't know what Mr. Maven, Mr. Heckman, who was over Maven, is up to. These black capitalists that you see, for the most part, are just front people for white capitalists. They are just a funnel. And when I say a funnel, what I mean, they're just hooking, hooking in. To bring white dollars outside. Somebody told me boys was at the click funnel thing. And somebody said he was he was playing bubble soccer. All, I've heard all kinds of stories. I don't bring them up. You don't know how much I know and I don't talk about. But this is too much. I can't do it. I can't shut up this much. Now understand what he says. We are hyping hope. We're selling a movement. It's religion. And he said boys is my info product guy. 
I want you to think about that. Boyce is my info product guy. He didn't say I'm Boyce's. Now, now hold on. Back up for a second. I want you to back up to that video Boyce sent you. He put all this pro-black stuff on the table. And I need them to tell me. And I need the solution, motherfucker. And all this sound like he have, sound like he done smoked on something, something. Understand. There was, with this maven and with this guy, there's nothing pro-black in any of that. And understand one thing. You're talking about me taking donations. But what is the what is worse, black people? I want to ask you this question. I want you to answer me. What is worse? Is it worse for me to ask you to contribute whatever you have? Or is it worse for him to have a copywriter who designs his copy to manipulate black people based on our history in this country and our culture of being religious and getting involved in movements? You tell me what's worse. And you should end this man. And I'm not talking about anything physical. You should end watching his videos. There are, I have shared enough books on this show. I have shared enough books on this show for you to cut off the YouTube, the boys watching YouTube, and go over here and read stuff that you need to read to understand who you are and your plight and our plight in this country. I have shared that information. You do not need anything that he's selling. He is part of the problem. I tried to be with him, and I tried to help him until I realized I can't do it no more. I tried to talk to you, and the only thing you say to me is I'm a PhD. That's not going to work no more. You have to understand what benefits you. You have to understand what hurts you. This guy called Boyce a character. And when Boyce started talking, when he started talking about Boyce crying, he said, blah, 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 blah. He don't, this is, and this is who Boyce is affiliating himself with. Mind you, this guy was also doing cryptocurrency stuff. So Boyce not only, Boyce not only brought him in to do his copy and manipulate black people to extract money from black people, he brought this guy in to do some cryptocurrency stuff. If you go to this dude's page, he actually says some stuff about how he's going to start a new coin. And he's posting in Juneteenth, which is Boyce's Facebook page. So what I'm wondering, I have no idea at this point, are you, Mr. Wu, are you allowing Boyce Watkins, this guy, to take advantage of your followers to do an initial coin offering so that he can make money off of your black world and the people who follow Dr. Boyce Watkins? Is this what black business is to you? Is this what black business is supposed to look like according to you? Because according to me, it looks like a scam. I can't say it no other way. And he says, the guy says, Mr. Wu says, Charles Wu says in the video, well, I hope you don't think I'm a, I'm, I'm kind of a, a, a bad person. And he said, you know, but he, he obviously, and one of the things that strikes me, he doesn't have any respect for boys. Like he, he just, for you to bring this video up in his public and you to talk about what y'all did, knowing that Boyce has an African-American following, he don't care about you. He don't care about black people. He only cares about the orders that started to come in. That's what he cares about. He don't care about you. This is, this is like so much of this is white capital kind of disguised as black capital. And it's an illusion. And you say that I'm waiting on the white man. No, boys, I think you're waiting on the white man. I just think you won't be un Like, see, because I'm not waiting on the white man. See, because the United States government that I talk about, that's just as much the, the government of black people as it is of white people. That's not, the, that's not the white man. See, you're an idiot if you think that, that, that calling on the government that you pay taxes to is somehow calling on the white man. Because everybody calls on government. Every lobbyist from agribusiness, from farmers to, to pharmaceuticals, everybody calls on government. So why shouldn't we? What are you up to? 